Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how can we use Angular JavaScript for live search data from MYSQL table, and display on web page using PHP script. There are many viewers has requested to make video tutorial on Angular JavaScript live data search using PHP. So we have published this video tutorial, in which we have step by step describe how to use Angular JavaScript functionality for search MYSQL data using PHP. We have already published this type of tutorial by using jQuery Ajax but now we have used Angular JavaScript for search live data. Now let's start learning this topic, so this is our testing database, and under this we have one customer table with seven column like customer ID, customer name, gender, address, city, postal code and country. We will load all data on web page using Angular JavaScript with PHP, and then after we will make live search into this data, display on search data on web page using Angular JavaScript with PHP. This is our working folder. In this folder we have two PHP file like fetch.php and index.php. First we have open index.php file. And under this file we have already included bootstrap library link, angular javascript library link. Now we have moved to write html code, so here we have write division tag, and here we have write ng app directive is equal live search app. This directive is the root element of the angular javascript. After this here we have write ng controller directive is equal to live search controller, this directive adds a controller to your application. Now we want to make one text box for enter search query, so here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to search query. Here we have also write ng model directive is equal to search query, by using this directive we can fetch value of this text box in Angular JavaScript code. Below this text box we have make one table with six table column like customer name, gender, address, city, postal code and country. Under this table we will load customer data. Now we have moved to write Angular JavaScript code, and here we have write app variable is equal to angular.module with two argument like live search app, name, and blank array. After this we have write app.controller method with two argument, in first argument we have write controller name live search controller, and in second argument we have write callback function. With two argument like $scope and $HTTP variable, by using $scope variable we can get or assign value to angular expression of our application, and by using $HTTP we can communicate with server. Now we want to all load customer or search data on web page by using Angular JavaScript function, so here we have write $scope.fetch data is equal to function. Under this function we have write $HTTP service, and under this we have write first option method set to post, so here we have use post method for send data to server. In second option we have write URL which we have set to fetch.php, here we have send request to this fetch.php file. 
In third option we have write data, and under we can define which data we want send to server, so we want to send search query text box data to server. So here we have write search query variable value get from dollar scope dot search query. Here we have by using dollar scope variable we have get value of search query text box and store under search query. After this we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server, which we can access from this data argument. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot search data expression is equal to data, here we have store data which we have get from server has been store under the search data expression. Now we want to print this data in table, so here we have write table row tag with ng repeat directive is equal to data in search data express. By using this directive it will fetch data from search data expression using data as reference variable. Under first column we want to display customer name details. So here we have write data dot customer name table column name. In second table column we want to display gender details. So here we have write data dot gender table column name. It will print customer gender details. In third table column we want to print address details. For this here we have write data dot address table column name. In fourth table column we want to display customer city details, so here we have write data dot city table column name. In fifth table column we want to print postal code details, for this here we have write data dot postal code table column name. And in last table column we have write data dot country, it will display country details under this column. It will print all customer all data using this ng repeat directive. So here our function is ready for fetch customer data. Now we want to call this function on page load. So here we have write ng init directive is equal to fetch data function. So when page has been load then this function will be called by using ng init directive, same way we want to call this function when use type in search text box for search data. For this here we have write ng key up directive is equal to fetch data function, so when user type into this text box for search customer data, then this function will called, and it will return filter customer data according to search query. Now we have moved to write PHP code in fetch.php, so on this page first we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar $connect variable is equal to nuke class object. With three argument like mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root and password set blank, this way we have make database connection. Below this we have write dollar form data variable is equal to json decode function, under this function we have write file get contents function, and under this function we have write php input stream. In Angular JavaScript data has been sent to server in JSON format, so by using JSON input steam it will receive JSON data, which has been get by using file get contents function.
and lastly using JSO and decode function it has been converted into PHP object and store into dollar form data variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar form data variable with search query object. This condition will check this object value has been set or not, if this object value has been set that means it has received search data request and it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar search query variable is equal to dollar form data with search query object. Here we have store data under this dollar search query variable. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from customer table where customer name like dollar search query variable, or address like dollar search query variable, or city like dollar search query variable, or postal cost like dollar search query variable, or country like dollar search query variable or gender is equal to dollar search query variable, so here we have make search data query, which will search data in all table column. But suppose above condition false, that means there is no any search data request, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from customer table order by customer name in ascending order, this query will return all customer records. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution. For execute query we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write while loop and under condition we have write dollar row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch method and under this we have write to class fetch association method. Here we have use while loop for fetch data and under this we have write dollar statement with fetch method with to class fetch association which fetch next row data from query execution result and convert into array and store under dollar row variable under this loop we have write dollar data variable in array format is equal to dollar row variable so on every interval while loop code will fetch next row data and convert into array which we have store under dollar data variable now we want to send this data to angular javascript get method in json format so we have write echo statement and under this we have write json encode method with dollar data variable Friends here we can see when page has been loaded into browser then we can see that one search text box for search customer data, and below it we can see customer data in table format. Now we want to check live data search functionality is working or not, so here in text box we have type John, so when we have type John, so below we can see customer records whose name is John. Same way we want to get all mail customer data, so here in search text box we have type mail, after type mail we have see all mail records below. So here our live data search functionality is working, lastly we want to get all United States customer data, so in text box we have type United States.
After type of United States we can see below all customer of United States, so this way we make live MYSQL data search feature by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.